Hello everyone and welcome to my free to play quest speedrun guide. In this guide you will be able to do every single free to play quest in at least half the time it would take you normally, except for Dragon Slayer. I speak very fast and cut out a lot in this video so you will need to pause it regularly. Make sure you do not turn off any of the annotations because I'll be putting fixes and updates in them throughout the video. You won't have to worry about me self advertisement or promotion or a reminder to like and subscribe because I wouldn't do that to you guys so make sure you leave them on. If you need some help with the guide or think something needs to be fixed, let me know in the comments and I'll update the annotations corresponding. This took me a while to do, so any feedback would be great. And here's the video. Alright, step one, you're going to want to create your character and give him a nice hairstyle and clothing. And you want to go through Tutorial Island just like you would before, but um, what I would recommend doing is training all of your levels up to three from what you can do. Um, I know the fishing rates are faster than what you can get in outside the world, and um, I'm not sure about woodcutting and fire making or mining or smithing or anything like that, but I mean, I guess it would just be a little bit better just to start your skills off early. Well, you can see in the video here now, um, with the fishing, you get the fish like at a certain amount of time. It's not like fishing outside of um, Tory Island. Um, the fish will come in within like... Um, a couple game ticks every single time, so it's a little bit faster fishing than starting for starting out your beginner levels. Should you get both mining and smithing to three in Tutorial Island, you want to mine um, 10 tin and 10 copper, make them into bars, and then make them into daggers. I wouldn't worry about training melee or range because as soon as you kill the first rat, then you can't train it anymore. The only way that you can continue to train it is if you do two damage to a rat and move on to another one, which would be easier with range. Otherwise, you'd have to do two melee hits on the rat and run away. And you'll probably end up killing them, and it's just a fast experience outside of Tutorial Island, so just don't dwell on killing them again to level 3 in Tutorial Island. Go ahead and complete Tutorial Island after that, because there's not really another skills you can train up to level 3. Um, talk to Adam or Paul if you want to become an Iron Man. Um, next, um, I want to keep clear that you should probably do any um, random event that happens for you, because it could be pretty good cash at a lower level. At higher levels, it might be more of XP waste. So just keep that in mind. You're going to want to use up all your runes that you got after Tutorial Island. I recommend using them on goblins for the low magic defense. And you can get some goblin mail for goblin diplomacy later on. Uh, after you run out of runes, go to the mage tutor and get some more. You can drop your air runes on the ground and world hop and get some more from her. World hop back and pick up your runes. Next, talk to the cook and start the cook's assistant quest. Go upstairs and talk to Duke Horacio to start rune mysteries. You can do the drop trick to get two air talismans. Go upstairs, bank everything, and withdraw all of your coins, a small fishing net, tinder box, an axe, and a bucket. Head down the stairs to the bottom floor and go out um, in front of the Lumbridge Castle to the monastery and talk to Father Eric to start the Restless Ghost. Speak to Father Ernie out in the Lumbridge Swamp and get the Ghost Speak Amulet. Go to the general store and buy a cake tin and a bucket. Go to the cow pen and you only have to fill one of the buckets with milk. Head back through the swamp and go to the wizard's tower on the bottom floor and speak to Cedrador for rune mysteries. Then head over to the other part of the room and search the altar to get the skull for the restless ghost. And make sure you avoid the skeleton. Next, head back up over to Drainer and withdraw your small fishing net. And fish shrimp until level 5 fishing and cook all the shrimp at a nearby fire or make one yourself. Head up north near the Drainer Manor and talk to Veronica and start Ernest the Chicken Quest and complete the quest. I'm not going to be giving the guide on it here. The guide will be in the description. After you've completed the quest, Ernest the Chicken, you can keep the spade that you received during the quest and before you exit, pick up the bronze medium helm in the far east room. Next, head west to the cabbage patch and pick up a cabbage. Next, head a little west of the cabbage patch and you should reach the chicken pen. Pick up an egg and train all of your melee stats to level 10. Um, you do not need to train defense if you're a pure. I did this for an, about an hour and I got myself up to 2,000 feathers and 10 in all melee stats. Um, when you train strength on the chickens, the chickens are actually weak to slash. So with your sword, instead of using stab option, you slash. And for the other um, melee stats, you stab. Head south of the Cabbage Patch and speak to Redbeard Frank to start the Pirate's Treasure at Port Sarim. Run south and board a ship to Kramja. Run over to the bar and buy Kramja rum. Head over to the general store and pick up a knife off the table 
then head over to the banana trees and pick 10 bananas. Speak to Luthus and he'll offer you a job to pick 10 bananas and store them in a crate. So use the ones that you already have in the crate and then use your crumbs or rum on the crate so you can seal it. Then speak back with Luthus to receive your payment and head back to Ports for him with the ships. Head over to the fisherman's shop and grab an apron off the wall and then trade Garrett to get 40 bait and buy a fishing rod. It's not shown in the video, but you need to buy the fishing rod. Head over to Winston's shop and he'll give you a job as long as you're wearing the apron and head in the back of the shop and search the crate with a banana on it to receive the crumbs and rum. Then head over to Redbeard Frank to get the next part for your pirate treasure. Next, head back to Drainer and bank everything and grab a pickaxe plus whatever food you have. Next, you can start the quest Vampire Slayer and go upstairs of Morgan's house and look through the cupboards and grab garlic out of it. Now make your way up north, east of the Faldor Wall, and go up to the Barbarian Village and enter the Stronghold of Security. I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the Stronghold of Security. In order for you to receive the rewards for completing the Stronghold, you need to have the Jagex Account Authenticator enabled on your account, which can be enabled through your account settings on the main website. The first three floors are all you have to do for the 10k, but if you also want the boots, which are also the best free play boots in the game, make sure you have enough food to get them, and also save your run energy for when you don't need to run. Part of me, a full part of me is in love. I know we just met, but a part of you is in part of me. That's how I know it's more than just sex. I'm like, oh girl, you're my ghost girl. You, uh, you take away my breath. And if I break your heart, and you break my heart, and there's not a lot of heart left. And I ain't the best at this. Ask my exes, they'd probably be glad to tell you this. Thinking that you're rebellious, you got a belly button ring, but you barely is, eh. ain't nobody here celibate, I just wanna love you for a long time, I just wanna pick you up and then toss you around in that body, girl, is all mine. On the floor of the kitchen, there's no feeling, no you're not Ain't nobody else's home, we ain't scared of being locked <laughs> Let me hear you scream it out Say my name, say my name, where it at? Say my name, say my name After you finish the Stronghold of Security, make your way down to the Southwest Barrack Mine in Mine 7 Clay. Next, head to the house west of the Barrack Bank and speak to Juliet to start the quest Romeo and Juliet. Find Romeo in the Barrack Square and talk to him. Next, head to your bank, withdraw all your coins, whatever food you have, the research package for Rune Mysteries, and the key for Pirate's Treasure. Next, buy a pink shirt from Thelsio's clothing shop in Barrack Square. Head south to the Blue Moon Inn and go upstairs to the most west room with the chest to open it up with the key. Head back down the stairs and buy four beers from the barman. Give one of the beers to Dr. Harlow and he'll give you a wooden stake for Vampire Slayer. Next, head east to the rune shop and give Aubrey the package. Then talk to him again to get the research notes. Head up north to the church and speak to Father Lawrence for Romeo and Juliet. Go to the general store and buy some shears. Head southeast of Varrock, avoiding the Dark Mages, and get five red berries and one cat of berries from the berry bushes near the mine. Head south of the mine to the sheep pen and shear three sheep. Head back into Varrock and speak to the apothecary and make the cat of a potion. Next, tell Romeo about the master plan. Next, head over to Juliet's house and speak to her to watch the final cutscene and finish the quest. Say one love is dumb love, but I know for sure it ain't true. I've been in and out of a lot of girls. I got stuck when I was in you. 
And like, don't you get it confused? You see, you know how them girls would be doing me. They got nothing on you. That's nothing on you. After you've completed the quest, do a home teleport back to Lumbridge. Go to the spinner and make all of your wool into balls of wool. Next, go to the bank, deposit everything, and withdraw all your coins, a red berry, a pot of flour, an egg, a bucket of milk, a bucket or bucket of water, clay, a cake tin, and the skull. Speak to the cook to finish cook's assistant. Put the skull in the coffin to finish restless ghost. Head over to Zeke's shop and buy a steel scimitar and a mithril scimitar. Head over to Louis' legs and get yourself steel plate legs and mithril plate legs. Head over to the palace and speak to the chancellor and then Osman to start Prince Alley Rescue. Although it isn't shown in this video, I recommend you to go to the kebab seller and buy an inventory of kebabs for food later on. Now head out of Al Karid and head over to Fred the Farmer's Onion Patch and pick 4 onions. Head over to Drainer Village and speak to Leela. Go to the bank and withdraw all the quest items and also pick up some ashes off the ground if you can find some or make a fire and wait for it to run out. Speak to Aggie the Witch and have her make you some skin paste and some yellow dye. Next trade Ned and buy our rope from him, then talk to him to make the three balls of wool into a wig. Now you can use the yellow dye on the wig to get a bond wig. Next head west and go to the jail and look out for the jail guards and speak to Lady Kelly to get the key in print. Now home teleport or walk to Alcarid and head south to the Shanty Pass. Trade Shanty and buy a bronze bar from him. Speak to Osman and give him the key in print and the bronze bar. Head back to Drainer and talk to Leela to get the key. Head over to the jail again, avoiding the guards, and close the door. Then speak to Joe, the guard inside, and offer him all of your beers until he's drank as hell. Then use a rope on Lady Kelly. Then go to the jail cell and give Allie the disguise and he will escape. While you're in Drainer, go to the bank and get the research notes for Rune Mysteries. Then head back to the wizard tower, go down the stairs and speak to Cedridor and give him the notes. Alright guys, now we're going to make a huge leap and jump over to Falador, and then head over to the chain body shop and buy an iron chain body, and a mithril if you choose. Now head over to the Falador castle and speak to the squire and Sir Amic Bars to start the knight's sword and the black knight's fortress. You do not need to do the black knight's fortress if you're up here. Now at some point you're going to need to get two iron bars and two iron ore. The best way to get the iron bars is to just buy them off some players. I went around Falador and hopped around a few worlds and finally found somebody that would sell me two of them. He actually gave me 17 now for giving me my money back. I thought he just maybe thought I was a noob or something. For the iron ore, I'm going to be showing you how I got that. Now grab your map from Pirate Treasury and a spade and a weapon. If you don't have a spade, take one from the estate agent's building. Next, dig where I do and kill the farmer and dig again to get the casket and complete the quest. For the iron ore, head to the room east of the Faldor drop party room and go down the stairs. I found a person, um, Iron Power Money, I just picked up two of his ores, but I'm sure if you ask a player down there, they would give you two. Look out for the scorpions down there, though, so you might want to bring food. Now head to the bank, grab all the food you can get, get six clay, and don't forget your cabbage like I did. Now to get the four copper, you can go down here. And go over to the pickaxe shop, and you can usually buy them there, or you can buy a pickaxe and mine it. And also, this is another place that you can get your iron ore at, if you can find a power miner. Head out of the mines and go north up to the Black Knight's Fortress, and this is where the fun begins. You're going to look out for the Black Knights, because they can hit up to fours. So just follow the path that I go in, and remember, if you don't have your cabbage on you right now, you should probably head back and go get that. Or head over to the monastery and pick one up there.
After you're done with that, make sure you exit Black Knight's Fortress and head north of Falador to Doric. And make sure you have your 2 iron, 6 clay, 4 copper. Just talk to him real quick to start the quest. And then give him all of the items. And quest complete, just like that. We're going to do another huge jump over to Varrock and speak to the Gypsy at Varrock Square to start Demon Slayer. At this point, you should find a partner for a Shield of Aeroth and complete it. I found my partner at the Gypsy, but you can either use the minigames option on the quest icon to find a partner, or use on the forums. Either way, you need to head up and speak to Rado for the Shield of Aeroth and the Night Sword. Go up and speak to Rado about both quests, about in search of a quest, and about the dwarves. Okay, right here I completed the Shield of Aeroth. Now I'll speak to Sir Pryson about the Demon Slayer. Go upstairs and speak to Captain Rovin and get the very first key from him. Head back downstairs and go to the most east room and pick up a pie dish. Then go upstairs and pick up a bucket. Then go back downstairs and fill, fill it with water in the sink. Then use a bucket of water on the drain. Now go to the manhole east of the castle and head down it. Then go to the west route and pick up the key down in the sewer. Before you leave Varrock, you need to buy 200 mind runes and 200 earth runes and a staff of air. This isn't in the video, but you need to do it and then get yourself up to 9 magic. Home teleport and head over to Alcarid so you can complete the Prince Alley rescue. Then head over to the kebab shop and get a bunch of kebabs for their Vampire Slayer for the boss battle. Okay, now head over to Drainer, go into the Drainer Manor, and go downstairs to fight the vampire. Make sure you remember your garlic, steak, and hammer. I didn't bring the garlic on me, but I didn't have a problem killing them. Just make sure you have it. It'll make the boss fight a lot easier, and have a bunch of food. You can either use herring, sardines, um, really whatever you want, shrimps even, but those only heal threes, so um, just use Earth Strike to kill them. Head back to Drainer and withdraw three red berries, two onions, and two woad leaves to make three different dyes and then what we're gonna do is mix the red dye with the yellow dye so you would have an orange dye and a blue dye. Next you're gonna head to the bank, withdraw 100 coins, get a bucket of water, a pie dish, and a red berry. Next go to Betty's Maid Shop and Port Serim and buy an Eye of Newt. Go to the Onion Patch north of Remington and pick an onion. Next speak to Hetty, the witch in Remington to start Witch's Potion. Head east and kill a giant rat and pick up the raw meat. Kill a normal level 1 rat in any of the houses and pick up the rat's tail. Cook the rat's meat on the range, and if you do cook it, use the cooked meat on the range again to burn it. Speak to Hetty and give her all of the items and drink the cauldron to complete the quest. Now I'll head over to Wyden's food store and buy another pot of flour and use it on your bucket of water to make pastry dough. Use that on your pie dish and use a red berry on your um, uncooked pie. You can bake your pie north of the area at the range, and if you burn the pie, then you'll have to run up north where you can fill up the bucket again, and you can also loot another bucket, run back to Widens and buy a red berry and pot of flour and do it again until you don't burn the pie. When you successfully cook the pie, give it to Thurgo, south of Port Serim. Hop over to Falador and speak to the squire again and tell him that you need to get a portrait. Head east and go up the stairs and open up the cupboard like I do and get the portrait. Withdraw your blue and orange dye and head north of Falador up to the Goblin Village and follow where I go to get all of the Goblin Mail that you'll need for Goblin Diplomacy. Use the blue dye in one of the Goblin Mail and use the orange dye in the other and then keep the other one normal and then talk to one of the generals and complete the quest Goblin Diplomacy. After you've completed Goblin Diplomacy, home teleport back to Lumbridge and get 20 wool and then make them into balls of wool. After you have all 20 balls of wool, head north of Lumbridge to the north farm where Fred the farmer is and start the quest sheepshear and turn in all the balls of wool. Now head over to Al Karid and get a full inventory of kebabs because you're going to need food later on. For this next part, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you need to get 25 bones. The fastest way to do it is to kill chickens and just loot the bones, and you can also pick up feathers. Now hop all the way over to Wizard's Tower on the second floor and talk to Wizard Treyborn and give him your 25 bones in exchange for another silver light key. 
Okay, and now hop back over to the Drainer Bank and withdraw all the food you can get. Two iron bars. You can grab another two if you want another blue right sword. You won't be able to get another one after the quest. And the portrait. Head over and talk to Thurgo and give him a portrait and he'll tell you you need to mine two blue right. Now you're going to want, want to watch out for the ice warriors and the um, ice giants because those can kill you pretty easily. Just make sure you eat as much as you can and get out of there alive. Once you have the blue ray, give it to Thurgo and he'll make you the sword. Head over and talk to the squire and finish the knight's sword. And also if you never finish the black knight's fortress, you can also go do that. We're going to be hopping over one last time all the way over to Varrock. Grab your three keys, a bunch of food, and prepare for battle. Talk to Sir Preston to get the sword. Speak to Gypsy Eris to get the incantation and make sure you screenshot it so you can use it during the boss battle. Head south to go kill Delrith and watch out for the mages in there. You may have to kill them, you might not have to. I ran around and got one trapped around the middle centerpiece, I'm not even sure what it was, and was able to get Delrith one on one. And you should kill him very easily. As soon as he's dead, do the incantation and you win. That is going to conclude our free to play speedrun guide adventure. The only quest I didn't feature in this was Imp Catcher because the imps are, you gotta just keep killing them until you get the beads. So it's not much of a quest and I don't want to sit there for a couple hours just getting imps where I could be editing this. So if you want to do that you can buy the beads in the set for about 40k or 40 or 50k. If you want to kill them the best place to go is uh, south of Falador or if you're a member you can go to Artie. Um, for Dragon Slayer, that's just something that you're going to have to do on your own. There's no way to really speed run that. So get the levels for that and do Dragon Slayer. Um, make sure you guys drop a like if you actually liked this video, if it helped you at all. Um, it lets me know that I did good. And I worked a lot on this, so hopefully it was good. Anyways, um, yeah. Bye.